and welcome. Welcome to a quiet journey across Europe. Today we'll trace some facts together, country by country, exploring how knowledge flows across the continent. Some nations with decades of learning traditions where most young minds hold university degrees, others still growing, still building their bridges to higher education. So take a deep breath and let your mind relax and follow the sound of learning. I'm going to explain what tertiary, tertiary attainment means because this is the way of percentage of people who have completed higher post-secondary education like college, university or advanced vocational program. So, the tertiary attainment for each country in Europe. Let's see which are on top. Albania first has a tertiary attainment of 34%. So 34% of the population has higher education, university or college. Next. Andorra. Andorra has. There is no public comparable series, no data. Next. Armenia. Armenia. Well, Armenia has 33% tertiary attainment, so university degrees percent of the population. Austria next. Well, Austria stays better, seems to stay better. It has 47% higher education. Good. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Well, for Azerbaijan, the stats are the following 30% of population has higher education, college or universities, graduate, Belarus, next. So, for Belarus, the stats are the following, the stats are the following, 40%, 40%, Belgium, Belgium, Belgium has 55%, 55-55%. Go. Bosnia and Herzegovina next. Bosnia and Herzegovina. So let's see the stats. <coughs> 27%, 27 for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bulgaria. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention something. These stats are extracted from official website and they're covering data from uh, 2022 to 2024. So in 2025, it might be a little bit different from what I've got here. So for Bulgaria, the tertiary attainment percentage 38% higher education. Croatia. Croatia. Let's trace first the map. It will look nice, finer. For Croatia, 41%. 41%. Eurostat. These are from Eurostat extract some of the countries. Eurostat so, or OECD report. Depends. Cyprus. Well, for Cyprus, the stats are 
60% wow. So it's the highest until now. 60% among the highest in Europe. So it seems that 60% of the population, uh, citizens of uh, Cyprus, are graduated, college graduated. Czech Republic, Czech Republic, or Czechia has 58, 58%. All right, Denmark next, Denmark, 57, 57 for Denmark. Estonia. Well, Estonia. Sixty. The same percentage as Cyprus. These are extracted from Eurostat. Finland. Finland. Finland has 54%. 54%. Finland. Good. All right. France next. So let's trace first the map of France. For France, 48%. for France Georgia Georgia, let's see Georgia. So, well, first tracing the map and then the stats are the following 31% 31% 31 for Georgia Germany well, for Germany Forty-nine percent. Forty-nine percent. Well, I hoped until the end I will not uh, miss countries like in the other videos. So um, I must watch out. Uh, next is Greece, of course, Greece, because. For Greece, 44%. Hungary next. Hungary, Hungary. That's what it costs, that takes to come out. Hungary has tertiary attainments of 33%. 33%. Iceland. Iceland has fifty percent of postgraduate. Oh no, of graduate, higher graduation, or this term tertiary attainment. This is the official term. Ah, uh, so after Iceland is Ireland. Ireland, so. Ireland has 65% the highest till now. Wow, 65% is, is one of the highest in Europe. Eurostat source. Italy. Good, so come on. Right, so for Italy is 33%. 33%. Good. Kosovo. Oh, sorry. Kosovo is here. Kosovo. 24%. Latvia next. Latvia. For Latvia. 
56%. Well, it seems that the Baltic countries have higher education level compared to the Western ones. Well, we don't know all the stats, stats yet. So let's see after we finish our analysis. So 56% for Latvia. Liechtenstein. Well, Liechtenstein has no data here. Yeah. So no stable public comparable series. Lithuania. Well, Lithuania has again very high stats. 60%. Lithuania as well, the same as Estonia and Cyprus. Wow, okay, so I stuck on my post. Next, Luxembourg. Let's say for Luxembourg. <coughs> Luxembourg has 64%. Again, very high. And this is due to the workforce composition. Malta. Malta has 48% Malta. Moldova. Moldova next. Moldova. Moldova has 28%. 28%. And here is from UNESCO. Stats that extracted. Monaco, a tiny microstate that has no data, so Monaco no data. Montenegro, Montenegro here, I started to outline it. Uh, Montenegro has 33%, 33% Montenegro. Netherlands, Netherlands next, where for Netherlands the stats are 56%, 56% high. North Macedonia, North Macedonia, North Macedonia. Well, North Macedonia has 28% North Macedonia. Norway, Norway. Okay, so Norway, the stats are following for Norway. 54% higher education, 54%, 54% or highest education. Poland next. Poland. Poland has 53%. Next, Portugal. For Portugal, the stats are 47 highest education, 47. Good, so close to Romania. Romania. Romania has 41%. Russia. Russia has uh, the stats for Russia. I won't trace the outline of Russia because it will take too long and I will uh, I will get tired <laughs> until I finish. Good. So the stats for Russia are 51%. 51%. Good. Well, this for Russia, the stats are estimates and the methodology varies across uh, sources. So, 51% average. San Marino, well, San Marino has no data. Serbia, Serbia, 39%, 39% Serbia. Slovakia, Slovakia has 52%, 52% Slovakia. Slovenia, 50%, 50%. 
Spain. Spain has, well, let's trace my first, 49%. 49% Sweden next Sweden the stats are 59 are very high 59% of the population has college degree has college degree Switzerland Switzerland poor Switzerland is 58% include that Wales and Scotland and United Kingdom has 55% 55% all right now we are at the end and I think Ireland has the highest percentage of college graduate let's say so tertiary attainment or university graduates, 65%. And in the top five, the Baltic countries are included, as well as Cyprus, with the highest in Europe. So these few countries, Ireland, Lithuania, Estonia and Cyprus are in the top. On the other side, the lowest one. What can I see? I think. No, well, I don't see it yet. Well, education is more than numbers. It is the quiet pulse of progress, whispering through every mind, every generation. And thank you for watching and listening this educational ASMR, let's say and for learning gently. I hope the knowledge relaxed you tonight and until next time keep exploring, stay soft and curious.